Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com and welcome. Welcome to Pay. Pay right here, you see, had a nice, beautiful golden gap today. Actually opened perfectly. I'm a little surprised this did not get to the larger target today. I thought it would get down to 22. Uh, I thought 22 was actually not even a dream target. I thought it was realistic. 2150 was the dream target or beyond. But this did have a really nice move in the morning first thing. And then a secondary move in the afternoon. Let's go over the secondary move. It was this 15-minute play here. Right in here, 23.10 by 23.30, a 20-cent stop. And it drove on down here. Now, 80 was a number. When it broke in here, it bounced. Fell on through here. This fell on through here to 12.30. But when the stock didn't break a new low at 22.60 and flipped up here. And again, this is 12.30. 12.30 into the 12 o'clock major reversal time. When it didn't break 22.60 and make a new low, you really had to be out. I mean, this was the first target here, four pennies from the low. I'm surprised. I thought this was actually going to break the low of the day, but it didn't. In fact, I'm more than surprised here, uh, to be honest. Let's go look at the one minute. And this flipped around here because everything pretty much did here with the market in the afternoon. But out of the gate today, pay could have been played very aggressively, and it was the best uh, risk-reward trade that this stock had all day. Uh, a short right here, literally, as soon as it opened under the number, and I had the numbers written down, and it did what it was supposed to do. It opened under 2390, which was a number, ran up and held 2390, hit 2387, and could have been shorted here immediately. 2372 was the entry, and it fell off a cliff. This is more than a dollar, and when something like this happens, you must get out. That's actually a rule. A dollar or more in one bar, out. You, do, you don't even hesitate. You don't even wait. As soon as you see this and you're up this money, you are you just get out. That's it. It's the end of the story. And then you see how this bounced in here. And this could have been shorted again, but honestly, the best trade was the immediate aggressive move. And I find that is often the case with gaps. Uh, this held and did what it was supposed to do nicely, rally back here with the minutes announcement into 2 o'clock and pitted off. Still closed very bearish. We'll have to see what pay does tomorrow. I do think pay gets down to 22 sooner rather than later. It very well could do it tomorrow. In fact, I think pay is going to gap down tomorrow. I think pay is going to gap down here. And then I think it's going to fall tomorrow because this really should have kept going today. But with the minutes and everything else around 2 o'clock, you know, it just... Didn't have it in it to keep breaking. But it was a beautiful, beautiful golden gap today. This is Pei. Was watching this. Predicted that it would gap down uh, last night. And it did. And, and then I watched it. And, uh, it. and it was one of those ones where you had to be aggressive. Sometimes that's the best plan of action. Uh, did go and bounce off the first number here. Well, 65 here. That's look. 64 is where it came in there in the C. Look at that. Let's go look at this here. I'm just seeing this now. Hold on. This momentum came in so hard here that it broke that area by five cents from sheer momentum. These are pennies, 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 because remember these things are areas. But when the stock came in here then in the afternoon and didn't break, it hit the number within one penny. And that does count. And that's why it didn't break. I'm seeing this now here. Look for the second play. 65 was the low here, and it hit 64 and immediately flipped up with the market. Yeah, that's what happened. I still think this is lower, but that's what happened here on this today. I mean, these, these numbers are real, people. They are real, and you do have to know them. You have to know them ahead of time, because if you don't, then how will you know to get out? Because sometimes when things are done, they move quickly. They move very, very fast when they're done, just like when they move fast when they hit, when they break, and when they trigger. And you've got to be looking for them. And how do you know what to do? How do you know what to watch? You rate the gap. When you have the gap rating, you know to watch it, number one. And then you also know to look for the setup, which you have to know what the setups are, number two. And then number three, you have to write down the targets and write down the resistance. You have to write down all the areas. You have to know them. You have to know them. They have to be on the sheet. And they have to be next to you because stocks move fast. And you've got to have it together uh, before the open. The preparation is so key with everything that I do. It's the reason that I'm good at trading it. If, if I didn't know what to watch, I'd be fumbling around every single morning on a scanner. And that would be a pain in the butt. So the best thing that I have that helps me is my preparation, which is the gap rating, number one, and then figuring out all the numbers for the targets and resistance ahead of time. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. This is pay, golden gap of the day here, December 18th, beautiful bearish pattern, which will follow through and continue. Uh, should do it the next two days. 
If you'd like more information on the upcoming Gap course, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. It's January 18th and 19th, 2014. Have a great day, everybody.